hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel where i talk about business digital skills and how to make money online in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you seven simple hacks to attract more clients on fiverr can you like share and subscribe to my youtube channel please turn on the notification icon so that you'll be notified on any time i upload a new video if you haven't watched my previous video where i talk about how to get started as a freelancer on fiverr and how you can create your first gig please click on the description box below where you watch that video and understand how to get started so let's get right into this video the first thing you want to do is to niche down and what does it mean to niche down it means to focus on a specific skill or service within your broader expertise this helps you to stand out as an expert in that niche so let's get um, let me just do a practical guide on how you can niche down what you want to do is for you to go to fiverr.com I'm going to be using a digital marketer as an example. Let's assume you are a digital marketer and you want to create a gig on Fiverr. Instead of just creating a random or a broad term that you are a digital marketer, it may not bring you the needed client that you want. So what you want to do on your search bar here, you click on the title or the niche you are into. Let's say you are a digital marketer and you click on search. So when you click on search, you can see the search result here. You can see here we have over 6,312 um, services available. It means you are going to be competing with 6,312 people who are digital marketers on this platform. That's a whole lot. So you may not get clients the way you want because you have a lot of people to compete with. So what you want to do right now is to niche down. You want to streamline that service to a simpler or a smaller um, niche that you will have less competition and a lot of clients or customers so let's see how you can niche down you can see i said it the search results is 6312 so let's go through people who are digital marketers let's see someone who is offering a particular skill okay you can see this person he says code emails He's a digital marketer, but he writes code email sequence for, for people or for digital marketers. So what do you do? Now, let's open his profile and see what he does or what service he offers as a code email writer. So I write code email sequence for digital marketers. So this is how his profile looks like. This person has been able to niche down to a particular service that he renders. And you can see his orders. He has about 232 orders and in that 232 orders he still have one order in queue so let's assume his list this is his basic 245 dollars times 232 that's a whole lot of money when you do the calculation his standard you can see this person has been able to niche down and create a service of writing code emails for his client so now what you want to do on the search bar let's search for code email code emails let's search and see how many people are offering that service now you can see we just have only 1280 people rendering this service which is very small it means you can compete with these people you don't want to compete with a wide range of people so you can see that we've been able to find a way to niche down our service instead of offering um, competing with over 6,000 people, you've been able to niche down your service to 1,280 people. So what you want to do here is still, you can see this person is still a top rated seller here. So what you do, you can just open his profile and see what he has been able to do, how he has been able to set up his own profile in code email writing and see how you can make yours better so this is one way to search in that niche that you are it doesn't matter the niche you can be a graphic designer you can be anything you want to be you can actually use this format to niche down go to your search bar on um go to the search bar on um fiverr when you're on the search bar search the particular service that you offer and see other people who are doing it someone who has been able to niche down and see how you can also streamline that service that you offer the second thing on my list is quality images or video pitch use high resolution visually appealing images for your gig thumbnails and video pitch first impression matters a lot and quality images can attract more clicks so what do you do let's look at this person that we are using for example you can see the thumbnail this person is using portrays what he, the service is actually rendering when you see this you know oh this person is actually 
doing a service of cold email um, writing so look at it here you get an enchanting email sequence email marketing execution plan so the moment you see this thumbnail you just know oh seems this person knows what he's doing let me click and check out what he does his profile and the kind of service he's going to do or what he's going to deliver as you can see also he has a cold email pitch a video pitch you should know that this person knows what he's doing ah. sorry because of copywriting let me mute it when you listen to this video pitch you can see that whatever this person is saying actually portrays what he's going to be doing for you so this profile looks so professional that you want to hire or get the service or use the service of this person so this way you'll see that having this let's go having quality image and video pitch really has a lot of things to do for you to get high paying clients so these hacks work a lot so like i said try as much as you can give a video pitch and let your thumbnail be good don't use any kind of pictures let your thumbnail portray what you are going to be doing let your video pitch also be good when your clients watch your video pitch they should be able to know who you are and what you are going to be doing so let's move to the third one you have to have um samples or proof of your work showcase your previous work or samples in your gig distribution this gives potential clients a glimpse of your capabilities so you are going to show proof what have you done in the past have you done such kind of service have you written code em um, emails before have you been able to write on blogs the way you said um, this is what i've done okay i've helped a client write um something on their blog or i've sent out emails on behalf of a particular company you need to put on that um samples of your work or the proof of your work in your description then Let, let's see this person that we are using as an example if he has a proof of his work let's see among my clients you see this is proof of his work this is people that he has actually worked with as you can see so you, you can check these people out to see what he has done for them you can see this is these are his projects he has like four projects here let me open it on a new tab to check them out so you can see code emails these are samples of his work so you actually when you see this you know that okay this person actually know what they are doing this is a project that he has done so you can check them out you see this is, is this is a professional profile and this is a professional description of what someone has been able to do so you look out for these things and with something like this you'll be able to attract high paying clients and you're able to make money on fiverr instead of complaining that you've never made one dollars or any form of money on fiverr these are things you need to look out for these are hacks that you can do the fourth on my list is encourage satisfied clients to leave positive reviews on your gig good reviews build trust and credibility so when you have um good reviews it has a way of building trust and when somebody che checks through your profile they be like okay this person has worked with somebody people before and this person gave them good review it means i can trust this person to deliver so let's use this person's um, profile that we are working on as you can see this person has about 226 good reviews five star reviews from clients it means this person has been able to do a good job for people for them to be able to give him 226 reviews that's a whole lot so look out for clients encourage your clients to give you five star reviews especially when you've done or you've delivered a very good job for them so that's one hack or one way to actually get clients high paying clients for your fiber gig so let's move to number six which is sorry number five which is set competitive price research on your competition and set prices that are competitive but still reflect your skills and value you are just starting out or you are just looking for a way to actually get clients so you can check your competitors how much are they charging this person is charging over 245 dollars yes that's okay and you can look at it okay i'm just starting out this person has been on fiverr for a very long time what kind of price will I give to look very competitive to what he's offering? You can reduce yours, but please don't reduce your value in the process of trying to reduce your price. Try to make your price look competitive. Let it still reflect your skills and the value that you're going to be offering to your client. So that's another hack that you can actually do. For six years, include keyword in gig description. What you should do, you should use relevant keywords in your gig description to improve your visibility in Fiverr search results. 
so let's look at this profile and let's see his description or his about let's see if he use relevant keyword you can see sales copy here you can see code emails you can see he use he actually use relevant keywords that resonates with what he's doing so when you are searching for him this keyword will actually bring him out so whatever you are doing try as much as you can to use that relevant keyword that is relevant to the gig or the skills that you want to offer on fiverr so that's one hack to actually attract more clients on fiverr the last one is deliver outstanding customer service respond promptly to messages be polite and go the extra mile to meet client expectations happy clients are more likely to return and refer others don't keep your clients waiting don't be that person that will send message on monday and you're replying on friday it doesn't work that way the clients will go out there to look for somebody else who can do the same service that you're doing so your your reply should be very fast your customer service should be 100 percent try as much as possible as you can to be online to reply to messages and be polite don't be rude to your clients happy clients like i say are more likely to return and refer others these hacks can help you enhance your favorite profile and attract more clients to your services there's no two ways about it try as much as you can to set competitive price niche down deliver outstanding customer service these are the seven simple hacks to attract more clients on fiverr i hope this video was helpful please like share and subscribe to this youtube channel turn on the notification icon so you'll be notified on any time i upload a new video thank you for watching